Happening now, despite raising more than $9 million to keep it, Bennett College has lost its accreditation. The Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges made the announcement this morning. And WXI 12's Kirsten Gutierrez has been following the story from the very beginning. She joins us live on campus in Greensboro. Kirsten, what's next? Right now, the, that question is still up in the air, but right now it's just a devastating time for students and staff across campus who have worked tirelessly for the past few months with those fundraising efforts. And while no one wanted to go on camera at this time, you can just sense that sadness across the campus. Now, last weekend, Bennett College President Phyllis Worthy Dawkins and her team went to Atlanta to try and appeal the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges decision. Now, the appeals committee reviewed findings financial information from the college and found the institution in part failed to show that institution possesses resources demonstrating a stable financial base to support the mission and scope of the programs and services. Now, when I spoke to Dawkins before the appeal process, she said they would seek legal action against the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges and seek accreditation through another organization if things did not go their way. Now, the news is impacting more than just students and staff. High Point University President Nito Cubain, was, who don't donated one million to the college says he's saddened to hear about the decision writing in part. We have no regret about stepping up and stepping out to partner with Bennett in their fundraising campaign. HPU is a God family and country school and is being helpful in what we can do whenever we can. Now, while no one with the Bennett College uh, team right now wants to speak, they are holding a press conference in the building behind me here at six o'clock and we will be there and bring the very latest updates. But again, the president said they will be seeking a potential lawsuit or a different accreditation organization. But we'll find out more tonight at 6. Live in Greensboro, Kirsten Gutierrez, WXI 12 News.